Trauma One celebrating 20 years of success, but it's the men and women who work inside this small unit that make it happen. We have an inside look as to exactly what they do day to day to save lives. Either you're either going 120 miles an hour or you're going zero. There's, there's nothing in between. It's the life behind Trauma One. Trauma One Jacks Flights 1, 2, and 3 launch seeing Duval County. For the past 20 years, this helicopter and its crew have been saving lives here in our community. Uh, in trauma, you're, you're racing against the clock. The time is your enemy, uh, whether it be internal bleeding or spinal cord injuries or anything like that. You know, the, the only thing that's going to fix that person is surgery. And that effort takes a large team, from doctors to dispatchers, all pressed to make the right call. The way a call works is uh, Jack's Fire Rescue, for one here in county, uh, will respond to a gunshot wound or a motor vehicle accident, and they'll uh, they'll typically trauma alert a patient. We tone out the crew, get them heading towards the aircraft uh, if they're not already, and uh, give them just a brief report of what they're going to. Yeah, flights uh, one, two, and three, we copy. You're out of the helicopter. The pilot and an EMT team is in the air in a matter of minutes. Dispatchers providing them with exact coordinates to a safe landing zone near the scene. And once they land, usually they turn around in about five to ten minutes uh, is our, our, our golden time for getting on the ground, getting the patient lifting and coming back here. That time is crucial because experts say the first hour is critical in ensuring the patient's survival. It's, it's not uncommon to have patients that we, from the time of their accident to the time a helicopter lands, picks them up, brings them back here, and they're on the OR table, you know, within uh, under an hour. And that means the difference between life or death. You got it. And of course, flying these helicopters isn't easy. Weather and landing zones are very hard to predict, but they make it happen. And for 20 years, they've done it without any serious injuries. Reporting from the South Bank, I'm Hedel Gandhi, Channel 4, The Local Station.